So the first major update to Windows 11 is here and it's officially called Windows 11 2022 update, otherwise known as version 22H2. I just installed it on my Lenovo laptop and we're gonna take a look together to go over the major changes that happen with this update. The first change I wanna mention is the upgrade to Snap Assist or otherwise known as Snap Layouts. This is really what Windows is known for. Windows is really good at making you organize all your different applications and open windows into uh, halves and uh, quarters like this. So the new upgrade is that when you have a window on your mouse like this and you drag it to the top on this dark bar you see up here, you'll get a wide array of snapping options. So before this update, this feature was only available when you put your mouse cursor over the maximize button and you get these wide array of options. But now you can just drag the window, put it up here and pick an option. And when you pick this option, you get your option to snap another window to the side here. So I actually don't have a touchscreen Windows laptop or a Windows tablet on me at the moment, but apparently the gestures have not improved for those computers and the animations for snapping have improved as well. So the second thing I want to mention is all the changes to the taskbar. And one of those is that the taskbar has a very nice feature that was removed with the first version of Windows 11 and now it's back. And that feature is dragging and dropping a file into an app of your choice on the taskbar. So let's say you have a PDF file open, let's say right here, a sample PDF. You want to drag it and open it in Chrome. You just drag it to Chrome and it opens. This feature has been on Windows for a long time, but mysteriously it disappeared with the first version of Windows 11, so now it's back. And this is one of my favorites, uh, the control center on the taskbar down here. If you open it, the look hasn't changed at all, but if you click on the arrow next to the Bluetooth button, you'll see all your Bluetooth devices that are paired and connected, as well as their battery life. And this is super helpful because usually you need it to go into the settings to connect to each device, but you can do it from right here now. And another thing in the taskbar is the improved action center. Well, I wouldn't say improved because nothing has changed much, but it finally has the do not disturb button right here. Do not disturb used to be called focus assist on Windows, but now it's actually called do not disturb. And I think that makes a lot more sense. You could just turn it off and on right here. Uh, sadly, I don't use Action Center as much ever since they really separated uh, the Action Center and the Control Center. Um, so I don't really use this anymore, but it's helpful that it's there for people that do use it. And the third thing I wanted to touch on is the new start menu, which if you just click it and uh, take a look, you scroll through, it looks like nothing has changed. But if you go into the settings, it gives you three different options. So we have the default view that we just saw. Uh, we have the more pins option, which lets you view more apps and less recent items. So let's click that one. We can see all my apps without having to scroll as much and we see less of the recommended items. And if we try the more recommendations option, we'll see more of the recommendations and less of the apps. So there's more scrolling for the apps, but you see more of your recents and recommended items. Now let's change that back to the default view, which I prefer and open the apps again. Um, there's one more hidden feature, which I don't think most people will notice because they really never play around with this unless they're a big Windows fan. Uh, you can now make apps folders. You just drag it with each other. You can rename it to uh, news, let's say. And you can add more apps here. Oops. And you can make other folders or photos or something. Yeah, I, I don't know how useful this feature will be to most users, but it's there now, just like the old start menu in Windows 10. And um, yeah, go try it out. So top change number four is the improved file explorer, which you really won't notice too much, but it's more um, you notice if you notice it, you notice it. Uh, so you get this home icon here, which shows you your quick access options as well as your favorite files so you can favorite. So let's say, let's go back to that, uh, that PDF option. If we add it as a favorite, it'll now show up in home right here. And you also get your set of recent items right here. And apparently there's better integration with OneDrive. As you can see, uh, OneDrive is pinned higher on this menu bar here. But let's say you're in a OneDrive uh, folder. If you click on this icon on the top right, you see your cloud storage information, how much you have left, how much you've used, and what your sync status is, which is really helpful. 
And this isn't here yet on this update, but on the next month's feature drop, tabs are coming to File Explorer. Finally, macOS has had it forever, um, but Windows is finally getting it. It's been getting developed for a long time now, and it's finally coming next month. We'll see, let's pray. And top change number five, I think this is the biggest thing that uh, we've been waiting for, especially Zach Bowden at Windows Central. Um, if you click on your volume slider or your volume buttons, um, you'll see something miraculous happen. The volume slider is now modernized. Look at that. Look at that. It doesn't look like that version one Windows 8 crap. It looks really good. And it's right there on your center of your home screen. And, oh, it's so much better. It's smoother now. You don't see like an ugly, just rectangular shape anymore. It's great. I love it. Good job, Microsoft. And one bonus change I wanted to mention before I end this video is the new task manager, which is now sort of modernized. I mean, it still looks the same, um, but if you can see on the left side, hamburger menu, you see your list of options, navigations, and uh, yeah, it looks more modern. It's like, it's like still the old app, but in the shell of the new Windows 11 design. And yeah, it looks, it looks better. It looks more, um, uh, in sync with the current design language. Uh, I think it still needs a little bit more work, but yeah, we're, we're getting there. Good job. All right, guys, that was it for my top five changes for the new Windows 11 2022 update. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Even though these weren't the most exciting features, I think it's been more exciting than most of the last Windows 10 major updates we've gotten in the last few years. Of course, the change to Windows Windows 11 was huge, but this first major update to Windows 11, yeah, not too bad. I do like the changes. Um, I don't think I'll be using the start menu options much, including the folders, but I really like the drag and drop to the taskbar. I really love the Bluetooth device control that you get right here and the snap assist layouts. I don't think I'll be using it because most of the time I'm doing this with my uh, the Windows key and my arrow keys, but uh, I think it'll be really helpful for people that don't know those shortcuts and when they're dragging around, they'll be like, oh, what's this? And then they'll find out that they can do all this stuff. So yeah, pretty positive. Uh, looking forward to that next month's feature drop and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.